Hey guys, thank this is a new episode of Nerdy Life. Uh, we are actually at Action Burger over here. We're going to be doing the Street Fighter tournament today. I have my guest co-host today, Sketch. Uh, I should probably get this ketchup bottle out of the way. Ooh, maybe you like it anyway. Spicy. <laughs> um, Sketch is actually going to be part of the group, coming on to the group a little bit more, because we're going to be covering music in the next couple episodes. And with that said, you know, you're going to be sending you to do concerts. And I'm looking forward to that, man. So, introduce yourself. Tell us where you're from. What, because I've been, I'm Jay Nova. Everybody knows who the fuck I am. So, um, Ske- I'm, I, I go by Sketch. Yeah. Don't tell me what to do, Jay. Huh? <laughs> um, I'm Sketch. Also, Gamertag Zen Menace. Um, I'm a gamer nerd. Uh, I don't know what to say, man. I'm into a little bit of everything, you know, uh, video games, movies, BDSM, uh, you know, all the all the good stuff. All right. Well, unfortunately, unfortunately, Lee is actually sick today. Um, she's actually home with the flu. So you know, Lee, we miss you. Supposed to diarrhea now. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, welcome to the Nerdy Life episode six. Again, we're at the action. We're at Action Burger in Williamsburg in Granham Avenue. We're going to be covering, as you see, there's some uh, Street Fighter tournament going on right now. And hopefully, when the when the owner comes, we'll be, we'll yeah. <laughs> we'll be able to ask him a couple of questions and you know get to know him a little bit better and know more about the Action Burger and all that jazz. Uh, jazz. That's, you know, you gotta do jazz hands. Jazz hands. All right, guys. See you guys in a bit. Sounds good. Wait, there's a chance I may not be in the tournament. There's a chance I may not. All right. Well, either, either way, I know you. We're probably gonna battle each other anyway. Um. Again, this is Jay Nova. I'm here with Nato. Nato. Yeah. Which uh, which um tournament are you going to do or are you planning to do it? Marvel's Capcom one. Yeah. MVC one, that's it. I'm I'm going in for third strike. Oh third strike. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, this is the first this is the first time they're doing a third strike tournament. We never had a third strike tournament here. Yeah. Uh I love the food as you see, like you know, it's like yeah. Uh, yeah, that's the, this is a good spot. <laughs> they got the soul food here. Oh yeah. Got a little bit of everything. That that uh mac and cheese burgers Crack in the cup. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Is. Gotta have like two of those. I, c- I can barely handle one. Damn. But a good drink. Yeah. Uh, you gotta get a drink from Action Burger too. Uh, Ask Erica her specialty. They'll hook you up. I'm doing the the giant freaking black and white shake. Oh no. Oh the um. In, she called it interracial. Yeah, interracial fusion. Interracial that's fusion. Yeah. That's the black and white shake here, folks. Yeah, definitely. Imagine if they had the cookie. The, 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 the black and white cookie. Oh, crumple it up in there. Oh, sweetness. Are we going to uh, count them? Yes. How many are we at? I don't know. I think we're up to four now. Add a bang to it. Okay. <laughs> um, how long have you been playing Street Fighter and all that, Jess? Like, you know, what got you into doing tournaments or anything? Oh, no. Well, when they first opened up Action Burger, then I started playing here, and that was it. Before oh. that, it wasn't really any video games like that. Uh, I was, uh, I used to work in an arcade in Brooklyn. Where at? Uh, Fairyland. It used to be an old arcade called Fairyland Buddies, and um, I used to play Third Strike a lot. And when it came in, I used to just have the pouch of coins and just... Oh man, he was feeding the machine. Oh, yeah, man, and then I would, I had the key to unlock <laughs> it and just. Uh, yeah, I did. I did Money. all the House of the Dead two. Oh, Power Stones when it first came out. Oh, Power Stone. That was the. That's one game they need to remake for the new systems. I agree. What do you mean no? I didn't say no. I said they ain't gonna do it. Nah, Capcom's gonna. Yeah, Capcom's not gonna do it. There's a reason why they're called Crap Cobbler. Mm. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Put them low. Well, you know what? Not for nothing, but now we're gonna have my, uh, Mega Man number 11, which now, because the whole thing, and if is dead, now he, they're actually gonna allow the timeline to come through now. Oh, who's, who's, who's um, doing that? Capcom. Capcom? They're, they're, they're is really, it the original creators of the Mega Man, or is it like. The other creators. Oh, no. And Afune's gone. He's doing something else. 
<coughs> after that, the the mistake that he did with uh, Mighty Number no. Nine, that was like, you never played Mighty Number no. Nine. It was, you, uh, it, was a, it was a it was a flop. Out. Yeah, it was a flop and a half. It was like what one player like Mega it Man. Was, it was it was like Mega Man, but it was it was supposed to be a successor and be more spiritual, and it ended up yeah. No animation. He had in two hours. He had over no in one hour. He had almost two million dollars on Kickstarter. At least he won. Oh yeah, but nobody got their prizes for 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 um, donating to Kickstarter. You were supposed to get a collector's edition and all that just nobody got shit. Wow. So he kind of dicked over everybody. And uh, as you see, sketch with his back. Hi. Hi. Um. Sub sketch. So yeah, so just a little note about us. We're actually based. We're actually were were. Gundam Builders NYC. We used to build Gundams and things like that, and we kind of morphed into the nerdy life because we wanted to bring a more broader audience. Audience. So, uh, like, how did y'all fix up Gundams? Like, the I just, I've been doing it for over 25 years. I'm 40 years old. I've been doing it for over 25 years. And I used to build, uh, paint them, and all that jazz. And from just from like all white to like. Yeah. Paint, that, it's fun. Uh, after piece yeah, by I, piece, they must look like statues. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you what I've done. I'm, I'm actually building. You didn't bring any with you here? Oh man. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I didn't bring anything for the tournament. Are you no, but you see, like, did you see the front of the like yeah. the action figures up and stuff? I'll build one for here. I'll, I'll, I'll build one for you. Right now, I'm just building um an entire series though. I'm building Gundam X, so I'm building all the all the ones from the series, and there's like 14, 15 kits. Oh wow! Yeah. So hours. Uh, how, weeks. Long it takes, how long does it take? How long does it take? Weeks. weeks. No, I mean like hours per Gundam. Weeks. Yeah, per Gundam. Because you gotta sand them down, you gotta prep them, you gotta paint them, primer them, things like that. Uh, how big are the figures usually? There's, oh, the, there's the 100 ones, and then there's the, the 144, and then there's like the 160 ones. You put the, the pieces in, not with your fingers, right? Yeah. You would, like... That's good. Yeah. The 144 ones are the smallest ones. So, but... How big can they get? Well, depending on the kit, it can actually grow. Like, there's one that's from this table to this table. And it's just a back piece, too. Making armor. Yeah, they they have armor on top of armor type of shit. That's crazy. That's a lot. But dude, that was... I hope you win. I hope yeah. if you do enter, I hope you do. You know. Yo, I hope I win too. But you know, what do you guys get when you win? This is the first time I'm entering. Uh, the the pot. Okay. So, five, I guess five dollars entry, and however many people show up, the winner gets the pot. There's no second place when there's always first place. All right, cool beans. Yeah. You can you can pay me in food. Right. So, you know, I take food. So, we'll, do, we'll do side bets for food. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, I, I do food too. Especially here. Yeah. But thanks, dude. Yeah, I'll yeah. catch you later. I think that's number seven. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get things started. Gundam Fight all set. Ready? Go! Hey guys, this is the Nerdy Life, uh, episode five, and we're over here. We're still in Action Burger doing the Street Fighter tournament. Yes. We just finished the Third Strike tournament, which I came in second, and this gentleman came in first. Congratulations, by the way. Uh, Whip my ass, pretty good. <laughs> that charge shot definitely got me. Yeah. Um, what's your name, and like, how long have you been playing Street Fighter? Man, my name is Noel. I've been playing Street Fighter since I was like. Seven, sixth grade or something like that. Jesus Christ. Yeah. So you're about the same age as me then. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kicking 35 doors down right now. I'm, I'm 40. Oh, okay. So I'm definitely up there. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> like, like fine wine, right? Yeah. Well, Puerto Ricans, you know, you know how we do. Ah, so. I'm Dominican, so we're neighbors. Right, right. So, um, but no, it was a great fight, clean fight. Uh, I thought... Your combos were actually on the chain. You were actually complimenting me on my parries. Yeah. Because you like the, the fight was on was on point. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's parrying is a lost art, especially when Capcom's taking that away. 
Yeah. You know, uh, you got like Evo moment. You know, what is it, 37 or something like that? And and these we, we have a lot of like good fighting games back in like the late 90s, and they've made everything so much easier now for these kids because you know effort is something that is frowned upon. So you know when we can get down and, and you know throw out Street Fighter three. Yeah, well, I mean, but if you're if you're like a dirt strike and um and it's a it's a it's a game of skill, and you know it's great to play and it's nice that these guys are having uh um you know a tournament for us to just come out and have fun. Yeah, no, I mean, I absolutely agree with you with like the whole thing where they they're making it more idiot proof for the kids now. Yeah. Because like, look at Marvel vs. Capcom three. It was just button bashing. It yeah. was just a button bash, like, marathon. I mean, Justin Wong will have something to say to that. But, you know, I mean, it, at the high level, a lot of these games are good. It's just, like, entry level and stuff like that. It just, you know, you got to sell games, and that's that's the route, you know, people took. No, and it's true. But, like, I agree with you also when, like, back in the days, like, we had rival schools. We had, yes. um, we had like, oh, my Fatal God. Fatal Fury. Fatal Fury. Power Stones. Like, those games were, were the pivotal of... Marvel's Capcom 1, it was great. Marvel 2 was when it started kind of getting out of hand. You well, know? I love Marvel's Capcom. That's one of my all-time favorites. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. I love the, the single ones. Don't Guys, go anywhere. No, don't go like... anywhere. Oh, man. Um, we're, we're, um... Mar like, I loved when, when they had it, like, the Marvel superheroes, yeah. when they were by themselves, and you had to beat the shit out of them for the gems. Yeah. That was the best part. And especially now with the Infinity Wars, it makes it even better. Yeah, but what's part two is, you know, when you take the two buttons out and you have people going nuts. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it becomes more of a, like, you know, it's like the Dragon Ball game now. It's a good game, but the thing is that now it's like, you know, we want to get people, we want to juggle people, we want to cause, like, infinite, you know, where as opposed to, like, Street Fighter 2 and Street Fighter 3 was like a game of chess. Right. You know, sometimes you'll jump in, you'll pat, you know, and if you throw something, you'll parry. But if you, you land, then you have to, you know, mix it up there. So, you know, it, it's probably, for me, in my opinion, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike is the greatest fighting game of all time. And, you know, Thank you. and, you know, while it can get ridiculous at the very high end, you know, that's like frame counting and all this other stuff. Not too many people do that. When you get to, like, the mainstream, you know, that's where the, that's where the fun is. I really wish you were at my store when we had the Street Fighter 3 Third Strike, when, we, when the game 30th anniversary came out. Yeah. You well, you know what? I, I got the, um, what I'm playing now is the, uh, the collection. Yeah. Yeah, that 30th. I, I work in a gaming store, yeah. which we shall not mention. Uh -huh. um, and we had a mini tournament. It would have been great. I would have. Uh, we it, actually gave uh, away the game. And, and that's that's that you know that's probably you know the best compilation, you know Alpha Three was great, um, you know Championship not Championship Hyper Fighting and um, and uh, Third Strike and then um, Super Street Fighter Two Turbo, so you know it, it's it's a good it's like a chess game you know it's kind of like that Starcraft you know where it's like you you know it, you it's know you what? against the player and who can outweigh who, right you and know like back in the days like you had to have skill yeah it wasn't just like. Yeah. And then all of a sudden you're like doing like 20 hit combos. It's a lot hard, man. You, you know, I mean, it, gaming evolves and sometimes it gets easier because, you know, it's, it's easier to sell. A lot of people weren't, you know, unless you were in Chinatown Fair or, you know, um, in Inwood or these specialized places that had the arcade, you really weren't playing Street Fighter Third Strike. You know, you, you had to go and get it. Now it's like, since you want to go mainstream and you want to sell, you know, Street Fighter Five. if you take Chun Li Super. Um, Super R2, and you try to parry it, you gotta practice in order to get those, right? Um, that Evo moment, you can't replicate. If you do it in Street Fighter Five, all you have to do is just press the tech. But I know, I know I'm being long-winded. You know, thanks for having me. I know you guys have somebody else, so dude, you know, thank you no again. Problem. We got a battle again, though. <laughs> no problem. All right, man. Peace. So we're gonna talk to the third place winner. Come on down, sir. Oh, man, I honestly didn't even realize I was the third place winner. I just felt like I was getting pummeled. No, no, you actually, you actually did uh, uh, great combos and everything like on me. Um, again, we were both complaining about the the first player first player controller. First player stick a little beat up, but you know, it's been a long time, man. I'm trying to knock the rust off. Well, introduce yourself a little bit. So you know. my name is Vic. Um, I've been I've been a gamer for like ever, like before the womb. If that's even possible. <laughs> and um, like <laughs> like Dad was like, "Ugh, the hell's going on here." Um, but yeah, I've always digged the scene. It's just been, you know, it's just been a wild ride growing up playing games, you know, against like my cousins. That's really where it started, against my cousins. My one cousin would just beat the heck out of me and then I come back next week and I just stomp on him and he'd be mad. Um, 
it's just been this this crazy wild ride and like you know you do see like the level of technique that goes on you know as far as gaming is concerned as far as competitive gaming and fighting games is concerned so it's actually a pretty cool experience um, I hate to cut it short, gentlemen. No, I know your Uber's coming. Dude, but it was a pleasure fighting against you. Hopefully Dude, we get to play again. I'm coming back. I'll be back. No. You can't keep me away. Well, <laughs> I'm going to catch you in the, in the, in the Marvel vs. Capcom again. I'll get you back that. You know what? I left my card in front, too. All right, dude. Get home safe. So, guys, this was the third strike interview. They're actually doing the Marvel vs. Capcom 1 tournament because they had more people for it. Uh, I actually had a ball, but I got to open tomorrow, and I got to be up at the crack of dawn. So we're going to finish the interviews, talk to the owner, um, and just have fun. I mean, it's been a it's been a fun trip coming over here. I wish Lee was here. You know, Brian eating his uh, mac and cheese burger. We're forever going to miss you, Brian, but, you know. Uh, oh, my God. And then we hear, oh, my God, coming from the from the far right left <laughs> so but yeah if you guys are ever in Williamsburg in Brooklyn please come down to the Action Burger Action Burger oh man the food is fucking phenomenal we are in a food coma right now that's why I look like the way I do I'm like uh 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 huh <laughs> bite me so um but yeah guys like we're, next week we're going to be back at the at our home base, the White Base, and uh, uh, Fifth Avenue, Sixty Street, the Ryu Young Hobby Shop. Come down, say what's up. You know we are looking for a new host. We have, you know, Sketch is going to be our music our music uh, correspondent, and we're going to be sending him to local bands and see, and giving reports on the bands coming out now because you, I feel like I personally feel um, the music now is kind of dying and like the, the underground is more where they're hungry they're still hungry and they're not commercialized so we want to we want to bring out more the the underground people like Hus husband Street and all these other bands you know like so if you guys are in the area come on down we'll definitely talk to y'all come please play for that didn't sound right <laughs> Come play with us. Yes, that was admission a little bit. But folks, we're gonna cut for right now. We're gonna finish off the, the other tournament and start talking to the folks. We'll be back. Don't we? okay, I'm done. I mean, I mean, the, the ladies might fall in love with his eyes. <laughs> so, guys, we're here with the with the organizer of the fighting tournament, which was actually better than expected. Um, the fight was better than expected with the people. Aside from the late, the late uh, setup, which uh, a number of people were RSVP to show up and arrive within uh, due time for this tournament and. A great percentage, of, great percentage of them failed to show up. So it it happens, you know. Like sometimes we have we do events and everything. And yes, that, yes, know, no, so. of course. Um, I I do not hold a grudge against them. I understand it's it's a Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday. You know, get things done while you can before the week comes in and uh, everybody goes out to drink and such. Do you, do you have a specific web page to um, promote the fighting, the tournaments, or something like that? I do not. Everything is run by the. Uh, the owner of the establishment that is uh, Action, Burger. Action Burger. So that would be, uh, I believe, is uh, with a triple W dot Actionburger dot com, or I believe what it would be. They have uh, Facebook, right? There is a Facebook page. Yeah, yes, okay. it is uh, Action Burger, and I think Action Burger two point oh by Me Comics as well, or just Action Burger. All right, um, but yeah. So this gentleman actually organized for today was was Third Strike, Street Fighter two. And Marvel vs. Capcom 1, which was pretty fun games from from our day, you know. Uh, of course, I had to be a bitch and play Third Strike, and I wasn't going to play anything else because I'll was get my ass kicked. Like, oh, okay. you're not going to join for the Street Fighter 2 tournament? You've nah, already man. paid in for that. I know, but i gotta, I got to open tomorrow. And oh, like, so would you like your uh, five bucks back? Well, we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, but we definitely... Um, 
Like we've been here since like three, three thirty, four o'clock. Oh, I was not made aware of it until six o'clock, which was the time that my uh, my job allowed me to get off. Told me if I wanted to come back for more hours, I could come back. I was going to head back around seven, finish up my uh, my shifts. Well, how long? Well, primarily with here. Well, how long have you been doing the the organizing for the, for Action Burger? For here, I. I think it's like about 2014, 2015 since I've been doing it. Maybe 2013. I, I could be mistaken. It's been some time. I have not paid mind to it. Okay. Um, well, again, you know, like we definitely, we definitely had a ball. We had a blast. You know, my iPad's still recording, so I'm probably gonna be like, there's probably gonna be a video behind us, like you know, just people shooting and beating the shit at each other. I remember this fight. I do. It was a good fight. <laughs> <laughs> um, I've never seen a polished window that fast. But uh, no, guys, I'm telling you, this this kid definitely held it, held it down for us. Like he was very organized, very professional, um, way better than what I did in uh in. Why y'all interviewing this Joker here? Why y'all doing it? Why? Why? <laughs> Trash talking, crum. Wait, wait, have you lost already? Oh. <laughs> I, I, it would have been funny if he would have pulled a Macho Man like type of talk like. Like, oh, brother. <laughs> well, no, no, that's more. No, no, I respect the fact that there was no Macho Man tribute involved. I respect Macho Man. God rest his soul. You're with us forever, Macho Man. But, uh, but yeah, dude, I'm definitely down for the next tournament that you guys have. Uh, I'll leave my uh, email and, and that way that you guys can find me and send me send me a link or something. Of course, of course. Um, we hope that, uh, well, at least I hope that in, when it comes to the fighting games, you've had a, a very joyful experience. Absolutely. Uh, that the that the competition was to your liking on a level that no, is this jo uh, that was Joel, right? That's no, no, Noel, no, Noel. Noel. I'm not too sure. No, I always thought Noel was with two L's. I could be, sp I, I no, could be mistaken. No, Spanish Spanish people have it with one L. Well, no, it's one L with Spanish people, but <laughs> I don't I don't like to to, to, to put my Spanish taste on people. But uh, Noel was definitely a very good competition. Uh, Vic was also another good competition. He yes, was pretty yes. fun. Um, there was uh, another gentleman, uh, Sony over there, who said he wanted to. He should have joined. And I do recommend that he join next time. Maybe he can uphold the other end of the tournament, so there's more weight with competition going on instead of the Ooh. two uh, the two starter ups running into each other for a like, second match. Ooh. Somebody's talking smack. Uh, listen, I'm up for a rematch, mm. even though it's off the books. I'm up for a rematch. Oh! They heard it from the back. <laughs> Damn. I, 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 thought I, was, I thought I wasn't that loud. I feel like Vince McMahon right now. Like, you know, like, just... Like, oh, that one moment when Stone Cold walked down, told him, told him straight up, and Vince McMahon was like... <laughs> but guys... Gotta miss, that, gotta miss that era. Ah, uh, the attitude era. But... But dude, again, I want to say thank you very much for uh, for having us here. Thank you very much for letting us take and be a part of the tournament. Of course, of course. So, thank you for uh, joining us. Absolutely. And you too, camera guy. Hey. Diva all the way. Yeah. <laughs> he's on. He's mercy. on his high noon right now. <laughs> Get the reference. Oh my God. I'm sorry, but for all of you who caught the reference, it's high tide as well. Oh, Overwatch. I said you were on a high noon level. That was a corny joke, folks, and I'm really sorry. Yeah, we're gonna put the glasses down because. Uh, uh, wait, 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 wait. He's gonna give us his sexy smaller. Do it, do it, do it again. Do it for the camera once. <laughs> I can't wait for you guys to meme that. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be immortalized to meme. Well, I, w I just wish I just shaved earlier. You know what it is? It's, it's, that, it's that rough week at work, and you're like, should I do something? No, I gotta get to work in like five minutes. I'm like, okay, I'm running behind schedule. Ten minute traffic delay, still at work at like two hours early. Let me just do my shift anyways. Okay, you gotta show us your sexy smaller. Come on, come on, for the camera. Mmm, I feel a little creeped out. Yeah. Hey, oddly enough, he's kind of turned on. Don't, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Where are my rock hard nipples? What? <laughs> <laughs> all I heard was nipples. Over there. What? He said something about his rock hard nipple. That's all I know. Listen, listen, listen. That's probably the reason why he cannot be an Overwatch character. Maybe, maybe that's what you wanted to hear. 
right, 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 right. We're getting right. off topic, guys. We're yeah. Topic. <laughs> uh, anyway, the point was that the point, I believe the point of the topic was that they had fun. This is a great place to come play, and it was great tournaments. So come back and visit, or come visit, or yeah, come, come have the, the food. Order of uh, action burgers and stuff. Yeah. We got a very What's exotic menu. Sauce? The action sauce is a blend of chipotle sauce and other secret ingredients that I cannot speak of because I will lose my head. Dun, dun, dun. That's not literally <laughs> Well, dude, thank you again. I'm going to close off the show. Of course, thank you. Thank you for uh, coming. You too. Uh, Mr. Camera Guy, can I get a handshake? I don't know if you can. Your, your finger's kind of blocking the camera. Um, hey, you too, you too, off camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you guys. There was nobody there, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to give a shout-out. I want to give a shout-out to uh, uh, the new meetup group called uh, Unique Hikers. Uh, they changed their name from Lazy Hikers to Unique Hikers. And um, if you guys look them up, it's uh, meetup and great hiking uh, maps and everything. Great days coming up. Summertime, you know. So definitely sign up for the unique unique hikers because it's gonna be fun. I'm definitely down to try it at least once. What do you know? I'm just, it, it's not that hard to work. Unique. I know unique. At least I'm not like freaking what's his name? Like can't say penguins. Anyway. What does he say? Penguins. 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 I could. I had to know that. I don't know. Why. <laughs> <laughs> tomato, tomato, penguins, penguins. <laughs> it's not the same. So, yes, uh, as I said, look up Unique Hikers. Uh, their former name was the Lazy Hikers, but they had to change it over other reasons. And have a ball. Go on a, go on a hike. We've, go on a hike, come back hungry, come back to Action Burger, and stuff your face. Destroy everything you just worked for. <laughs> Listen, whatever, whatever you destroy while you work for, you'll get back. Trust me. A fool will go in. You'll have a ball, you'll have a blast, and when you leave, you'll shed like about 20 pounds, but just gain five. Enjoy that nice mental image, ladies and gentlemen. On that note, folks, we are out of here. We're going to end it on shit. Yes. We're going to end it on doo doo. We're going to end it on poop jokes. This is awesome. So, folks, I was, again, I will see you next week. Have fun. Peace out. Can we go now? What are you waiting for? Got a pendejo. Fuck you. So, <laughs> so I'm here with the with the owner and co-owner. Co-owner, co yes. Co uh, of Action Burger. Um, this is the third time I met this gentleman. He's actually welcomed us with welcome arms, open arms. Uh, he invited me to the fighting tournament today, which was amazing, and I actually had a really blast doing it today. Okay. Um, okay. The third strike one, I mean, I wish there was more people. I'm yeah. glad that it came in second place, though. But, like, <laughs> it was it was a good fight, though. Yeah. It was a oh, good, it was. it was. Oh, okay. So, introduce you to Nerdy Life. And, uh, Nerdy Life, that's a cool name. Oh, thanks. Blaine Carter, co-owner of um, Action Burger. Sci-fi, comic book, video game, theme restaurant. Um, and Ask Whipper and Street Fighter. Oh, um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty good at Street Fighter 2. I uh, just started playing Marvel's Capcom, you know, to play with the customers, interact, you know, give it a try. It keeps my brain active. Um, I also write sci-fi books and I do comics. And the restaurant's been in business for six years, and we just expanded and made a bar, sci-fi bar. Which is amazing, by the way. The food is amazing, the drinks and all that jazz. Like, it's not even that expensive. Like, I've seen places that charge, like, you know, double the price that you guys have for the prices here. Well, people do complain. You look at our Yelp reviews, people complain about the food prices, and we're complaining about every little thing on there, so. Nah, man, not that bacon cheese cheese fries, man. That shit hit the spot right there. Oh, it did? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, look at us. Look at all the faces. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not going to be able to eat for three days. I had the oh, wow. burger on the menu. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah, those, um, I design all the foods, man. I, I do research. I, I what made you test do, like, soul food, like soul food-ish burgers? And you the, think that's soul food? That's what somebody told me today. They were like, it's soul food. I was like... Oh, he's probably just saying that. That's not really like soul food. Maybe in a different term of soul food, but it's, it's really like kind of like more fast food. 
Because so, soul food is like, I think Sylvia is when I hear well, fat soul we, food. We feel our soul leaving us. Oh, well, that's, that's different, yeah. <laughs> that's just your arteries, Paul. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have some some really good tasty sandwiches here. You know, yeah. it's fun creating um, amazing foods and having people. Um, the Hennessy burger is still. Well. Yeah, well, my my favorite is the 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 new Jaden burger. New Jaden burger. It's a ravioli burger. That's kind of like my favorite now. And then it's the um, the mac and cheese burger. Yeah. And then uh, uh, the scalabord. Those are my three favorites. What's the scalabord? It's like a Philly steak. And chopped burger with grilled onions, uh, green peppers, axis sauce. No, in fact, it's actually um, beef, chili, and steak. So we, we, it's more spicier now. And it's on a hero. I, I feel my, <laughs> my, my mouth is watering. Like, you know, don't, don't mind that a little bit right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, um, it's, it's um, really um, uh, it's, it's really tasty. Um, can you guys hold on a second? Yeah, no, no, oh, okay. Sorry, sorry about that. So what made you open up? Like I've been trying to get, <laughs> trying to get you to do an interview for a minute because I know you're really busy and everything. Oh, I have time for interviews. But uh, what made you decide to open up like this restaurant? Like what made you decide to do like a video game base movie? Um, just all this greatness. Oh, well, it, it started off more comic book and action figures. Okay, that was more of my ex business partner. Um, but since I'm more into video games, I grew up with. Nintendo, Street Fighter, played it in the 80s and the 90s. Um, th this was like a no-brainer to me. So I figured to focus on more like um, systems with all the games in it already, after I saw people liked, and just figure out with the renovation, you know, maybe I can have it at every single table. Yeah. You know, every single table have different games. And then I came up with the idea to do reservations. Reservations is um, you reserve a table for like a three-hour period, and you could actually play more games like the Wii U with the with the um, with the controller. Um, the, you could play the big screen. You could use the big screen up here to play, you know, uh, the the new Super Smash. Uh, oh, okay. And it's like, a new Super Smash with the Wii U. So you could have like a real party here with more games. You could do a, a Halo LAN party. You could do a Call of Duty LAN party for your birthday. Yeah, I see Halo over there. I'm like, yeah, uh, yeah. Like, but like now on the big screen. So that's the idea I came up with to do reservations. Are you, gonna are you planning to do any tournaments for like Halo, like like? Like any major tournaments, right? I don't think we have enough people for that. If I think <laughs> it, I think if you call them out, they it's like the field of dreams. If you make it, they will come. Yeah, Why would I would like to? Yeah, if they build, if you build it, they will come. Yeah, because like I didn't know about this place, and Lee was the one who um, my co-host was the one uh -huh. who told me about this. She's like, oh my and, god, and how do you know about it? She came here. She worked. Um, she worked around uh -huh. here, and she came here one time with her husband, and she was uh -huh. like, oh my god, you gotta try this place. Da -da 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 -da. And I was like, all right. I never heard of the place before, but I was like, all right, cool. <laughs> and when we came, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I think most business owners, they would never do free video games. No. You know, I, I had to fight a couple people off where they was thinking, you know, you should charge for everybody. Because sometimes you get freeloaders come in here and they play for a lot of hours. But it's only, I, I only see there's like maybe 5 to 10% to of customers that do that. Yeah. The rest, everybody comes in and play and they leave. You know, but customers want to have something that they can feel like they're, they're in the living room. They're, yeah, they're in the living room at home. They want that feeling. So when they come in, they start playing the games. You know, they start playing. They order the food. You know, sometimes it doesn't even matter how long it takes because they're sitting playing the games anyway. Yeah. And it's games for everyone. Like and I like I was sitting here playing uh, Duck Hunt. Uh -huh. was it like two weeks ago? Uh -huh. And your waitress is awesome. Um, the young, not this one, but the other young girl that we normally work here. Uh huh. She's awesome. I love her. Too. Yeah. What was her name? Uh, I don't. I don't remember her name. Oh, I know okay. that she's short, short hair, uh -huh. kind of chunky. Uh, I think um, I know you talking. Yeah. About. So she's very, very polite. She's been awesome to us every time that she's been here. Uh -huh. This young lady has been like phenomenal today. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, like, I like her. Like as, as I said, it makes you feel like you're in your living room. Like you don't yeah. feel like, like you're in Olive Garden. Like oh my God, you would like some breadsticks or some shit. Like like you feel like. <laughs> Let me just get some fries and finger, like like chicken fingers or some shit like that. Yeah. What? But what did you diva to? What? Well, but I think that's what makes the place more unique, you know. Um, just having something that no one thought about, perfecting it, and then just having everything that people could just sit and play video games and and remind you of the when you was younger. 
you know, the, the old school video games, you could pass on to the next generation. Hey, look, this is what I used to play when I was um, your age. Yeah, there, there was... And this, like, is, this was in, in the 80s and the 90s. There was a daughter and father sitting over, here, over there on the other table uh -huh. playing Mario, and I was just like, wow, that's so... I can't think of the word right now, but it was it was a beautiful sight. Let's just take it that way. It was it was a yeah. it was a sweet sight uh -huh. to see a dad and his daughter playing old video games while they're waiting for their food, and it's yeah. like they're I'm like so because <laughs> video games brought us together, like you know brought me and my cousins together and all uh -huh. that jazz. So mm -hmm. what what more could you ask for? Video okay. games, food, and, and, and liquor. drinks, liquor, <laughs> <laughs> and cheap shots too. You know that Kinda that rum and coke was like whoo. Trying to be a little different in other bars, you know, two dollar shots. That, that, Can't get that what anywhere. Was that Hulk shot that you gave us like two weeks ago. Oh, the the Hulk Colada. Yeah, yeah, that was um, that's one of our best drinks. That's like it actually turns green, <laughs> and it actually you know very strong and so you know pretty good. That shit was the bomb. Yeah, that shit yeah. was the bomb. Yeah, we we have actually um new milkshakes coming out. That's not on the menu yet. Okay. Um, one of them is a red velvet. Um cake cookie milkshake <laughs> another one is a birthday cake milkshake i can feel the diabetes coming in i can't wait yeah. so so what did you get today i got diabetes <laughs> <laughs> well you know if you take it at intervals you don't drink it every single day you should be folks okay. just make sure you bring your epi pen <laughs> <laughs> make sure you balance off drink some water have a salad the next day you come you know it's a good way to balance off um so that you're not eating you know too yeah. much but High no, cholesterol man, food and stuff. But no, man, again, like, I'm really happy you guys opened up this place. I think this place is, is awesome. Uh -huh. um, you know that we built Gundams, and I've seen you, you have, like, Mega Man and all these figures up there. Uh -huh. Would you ever think about having people do Gundam tournaments to put a, put on their, on your wall? To add more, I'm not sure, what is Gundam? Figure. Gundams Actually, are, like, little figures, yeah, that you built. I don't think I have the space for anything else here. Uh, but I'm like, I'm like seeing it. I'm like, uh -huh. like right there where the Robin is. I can see like the Gundam wing with the feather wings all out, spread out. Uh huh. Like type of shit, you know. So it's like, it's possible, you know. I'm always I'll, open. I'll build one and I'll bring it here. I'm always open for new ideas. Give it a try. I'll I'll build one and I'll put it. I'll leave it to you. Give it to you, and that way you, you have it out there. <laughs> okay. Sounds um, good. Sounds good. But yeah, no, we are we are. So you know that we. When we first came here, we were still under uh, Gundam Builders. Okay. And now we switched it over to the Nerdy Life. Uh, and the reason is because we wanted, like you, uh -huh. you wanted to reach a broader audience. Like you wanted to reach, not just come for food, but come mm -hmm. for the atmosphere, come for the, you know, the, mm -hmm. the yeah, the culture. Oh yeah. Um, so we're bringing, now that we reformatted ourselves, we're reformatting the show to bring more of the, our culture, like video games, comic books. All this jazz uh -huh. under one umbrella. Okay. So. Sounds good to me, you know. I think this stuff is what's coming in. I mean, this is what's in right now, you know. Being a nerd and playing video games and then nerdy, playing retro Nerdy and proud all day. <laughs> and also, I forgot to mention, um, I also have like a, a dozen, dozens of board games and card games down there for reservations now. Oh, really? So you can do play Monopoly. You can play like all the old stuff. Um, Operation, Shoots and Ladders, Life. Oh, you really? All those things from the 80s. I just got them. I got a box like a, like this big of just all that stuff in it. So, actually, I, when I finish the website, you can like reserve whatever you want to play. And people can play a Monopoly game. You can play the board game, um, Cards Against Humanity, Jim Rummy, Scrabble. Scrabble is like, you know, the older generation. They love Scrabble. It, yeah, I miss Scrabble. So, I try to have things for like everyone. When they come in, so little kids can play video games, the adults can play card games and board games, and then you can have um, a nice drink and a nice burger. You know, it's a I just a I perfect just, place. I just see, I hear Monopoly, and I hear families breaking apart. Like <laughs> I got boardwalk, I got park place. I think you're supposed to bring families together. <laughs> <laughs> All you needed was Uno, like just but like, draw twenty. Well, you know something funny? I actually had a. Somebody reserved the back because you could reserve the whole back area, and they had a birthday party here, um, and they actually compared here to Dave and Buster's, oh, and no, they said they had better. way more fun because when he was back there, he's not like playing for each game separately, putting money in for each game or getting tickets and stuff. He was able to, they was able to play all the games in the back, 
all the PS1, PS2 games on the big machine. They was doing a karaoke. They was playing, another person was playing um, the, the new uh, Marvel's Capcom on the Xbox One, mm -hmm. that Infinity, whatever. They was playing that on one of the screens. And everyone was just back there drinking and laughing. So it's, it's, it's a different type of atmosphere. And I'm actually going after, um, you know, people having reservations. I want to have an experience where you wouldn't go anywhere else afterwards. Because once you come here and you play all the games you have, you know, it's something like you can't play anywhere else. And I also have a pinball game coming in a month. Now this pinball game is like nothing you've ever seen before. It's like a, it's like a verti pin. It has 400 pinball games in one. It's not long, but it's vertical like this. And it has another screen on top showing you what game it is. So you can play like Star Wars, uh, Indiana Jones, Star Trek. All those pinball games digitalized on a screen that's like this big, it's like you know, very big. And I, I when I thought of the idea, I saw it two years ago. You know, I knew I had to get it here because pinball yeah. people are used to the long one but now you got this new age one where you can actually play like in the virtual reality stuff, yeah. yeah it's like it's like like tall yeah. but you can play it as much as you want and you can unlimited that <laughs> play on that you know, that shit sounds crazy but yeah. i'm down for that like it's, i love pinball i oh always God. wanted i always wanted to buy the kiss pinball machine oh the kiss though the yeah the problem with the original one is like too long and in the back it wouldn't work to it, but you yeah, got something you that's... you can't see, because most of the time, when it came down to over here, uh -huh. you couldn't see where the ball was, and it would just pop out. Like yeah, that. yeah, yeah. But this is like a virtual uh, FX uh, pinball, so it's like I can't wait till next generation to stuff. <laughs> I can't wait till it gets here, because I'll never leave. I'll, I'll, yeah. My okay. only question is, uh -huh. when are you going to start putting mattresses and cots down so people would have sleepover? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I gotta go the, home at the end of the day. Make the basement, like, listen. Yeah, all you need to do is just serve <laughs> breakfast. Like, listen, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you know. Yeah, that's a lot right there. <laughs> I gotta focus on what's working good, you know, lunch. And I can, then uh, I, can, I can totally see it a Hadouken, a Hadouken uh, eggs and sausage. Well, well, we have the chicken and waffle sandwich, which is pretty <laughs> close. That kind of there you go. It's kind of like a breakfast with eggs, cheese. Bacon, you know, and the way it tastes, little accent sauce and syrup, it's amazing. <laughs> it's like I, I have to stay away from myself because I know how good it tastes. So I gotta like, it's I gotta fight myself not to eat. How do you, you not know? have a gym in here? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, hey, you just have to know how you eat. You know, if you exercise and eat this, you'll be good. You run like two miles on a treadmill, eat a tarragon burger, it bounces so far. It's fine. I'm still uh, recovering from that. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, that, he that tarragon that. is really, really, um, I don't know, addictive, I guess. And we're, we're going to be bringing back the burger challenges in the summertime, too. Really? Yeah. It's, we're just trying to get everything set up, reorganized here. Damn. Once that's done, it just takes a lot of resources to put those crazy burgers together and those, all that food. It's, I'm ready to take home a crown. Yeah, I, I, I got my second. I got my second second prize today. You know, I came in second in the in the the third strike one. Uh -huh. I'm very proud to actually be here. I'm uh -huh. so happy that you actually invited me. Oh no, no problem. Yeah, you I know, like invite people here because last time I was here, I was like destroying everybody, and he was like, "You're coming to the tournament," and I was like, "Okay." <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I think playing games actually keeps my mind young. And it keeps me like thinking real fast. That's why I just I'm only set myself to play certain games. But like all the new stuff, I stay away from because I wouldn't get any work done. You know, I got new book series I'm working on. I'm trying to get like an Amazon deal or something on Netflix with this, this new series I've coming out. So, you know, you heard it first here. <laughs> uh, ten book series. You know, focus on female superheroes because you know that's what's in right now. So I, I think I have some really good ideas I was working on for the last two years that's going to interact with my current books that's already out well we would definitely be proud and proud and honored to push your your, your books okay um okay. i would probably buy the first copy that when it comes out and okay. that, you know so that way we can push it on the, on the show and okay. um that way we can actually talk more about it sounds good man sounds good. Here, folks. yeah life inside scoop um <laughs> I'll never do that again. yeah <laughs> thanks but dude 
it's uh -huh. been a pleasure. Thank you. Same here, Thank man. you for the for the patience. Thanks for the interview, man. If you, if you you guys let me know, I'm always here to interview. You know, I make time for things. I know, but you were mad busy. You had uh, there was mad there was I mad time. Off. I did time. I can make time for interviews and interacting with people. And that's what I'm at least at least say get well to Lee because she's not here to, to eat your burger today. Oh, get well, Lee. <laughs> yeah, way before the summer. Yeah, but um, you guys should come for like Halo night sometimes. We had this battle on Sunday. I was just playing on two screens. It was funny. <laughs> it had some nice battles. It was, and, you know, I threw the uh, people food, I threw them drinks and stuff like that. You know, and we just played for like the three in the morning. We're close. God damn! Like yeah, Halo is, is very addictive sometimes. I just I wish like the flag. I wish um, Overwatch had that option, like that couch Overwatch? option. I never heard of Overwatch is for PlayStation Four and Xbox One. Oh, new new game. Yeah, it's a newer game, but it's like he's wearing the hat. Uh huh. And oh, wow. So it's it's a pretty big game. It's a fun game, and uh, uh -huh. but they don't have a, a couch option. All right, folks. So that was the owner of uh, Action, Action Burger, Burger, which we are very honored that he allowed us to videotape him here today. Like as I said, next week we're going to be on our home base, which is uh, the Rio Young Hobby Shop on Fifth Avenue and Sixtieth Street. Uh, I had a ball. We all had fun. Jeff, Wing, Sketch, Hector. You know, we're all here. Uh, in Williamsburg, just having just having one of those good old times, and it really does feel like you're back in your living room. I know you you have your boys. All we're missing is pizza. <laughs> That's all you're missing, like just. We have pizza rolls there, right? Oh shit. Yeah. So folks, see you guys next week. Love you guys, and next week is gonna be episode six. So, this is Jay signing out. Deuces.